dashboard. This is the glenohumeral apprehension sign or the apprehension test where we're going to test to see if he's had an anterior dislocation of his glenohumeral joint. To do this test, we're going to bring him out at 90 degrees of abduction and full external rotation, in range external rotation. I'm going to block his uh, humerus with my thigh. I'm going to put this hand over the front of his uh, shoulder just in case he does start to slip out, but I can keep it there and uh, keep his humeral head relocated. With this test, all I'm going to do is give over pressure to end range external rotation. And obviously he doesn't have any signs of this or he would be more apprehension, have more apprehension. It's called the apprehension test because as I do this, he's gonna feel like it's gonna come out and he's gonna be very apprehensive. More than likely, he won't even let me get it to that position without pulling it back or across his body to get out of that 90-90 uh, position. But this is for traumatic, a traumatic anterior glenohumeral dislocation. We'll do a couple other tests in just a moment for more microtype instability to the glenohumeral joint.